What's going on guys, Steve Lake here, and today we're gonna to be sharing with you my watch, and I guess jewelry collection as well. Um, this is something that a couple of people asked for, and it's an easy layup for me to make content. So we'll get into the watches in a second. Um, first, we'll go over some of the jewelry. So personally, I really dislike gold. Um, I don't own anything that's gold, so a lot of my jewelry is silver. This is just, uh, I think, sterling silver. This is a vintage made in Italy curb link chain that I actually thrifted uh, for a couple bucks, I think the weight of this makes it worth like closer to 300 bucks, uh, which is great because it just kind of slipped through the cracks at a thrift store. Some other jewelry that I have is from Chrome Hearts. I have a beaded charm bracelet that I purchased from eBay. Um, I buy all Chrome Hearts stuff used. The price just fall off a cliff uh, if you buy them new. There's, there's really no reason to, and everyone kind of goes through like their little Chrome Hearts phase. Uh, which made it easy to get some of these things that are quite expensive at retail or just hard to find because um, generally there's not too many stores unless you live in like LA or, or Boston or a major city. Um, and this is just like a little uh, paper chain bracelet from Chrome Hearts. So two bracelets from Chrome Hearts. We'll do the two Rolex. Uh, I guess there's a third Rolex, but we'll do the two Rolex that I've already done videos for. Um, this is the Batman GMT. I traded my Audemars for this and some cash. So that ended up being a quite a good trade for me. I prefer the Oyster bracelet personally. I think the Jubilee bracelet is a bit feminine. There's nothing wrong with things being feminine, obviously. Uh, it's just for me with a larger case size, um, I just dislike the Jubilee bracelet. And it also feels cheap to me in person. So this is the Hulk. This is my uh, watch that I bought myself as a graduation present. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with, um, you know, having a, a well-off family, whatever. Um, but that was not the case for me. So a lot of my friends that graduated got like expensive Rolexes and I was like, I might as well cop myself one. And both of these have been great investments for me. They're worth way more uh, than I paid. So even in today's economy, we'll cover the last Rolex here. Um, this is a Daytona. This is in stainless, not white gold, but again, you know, you have to have a careful eye to discern, um, the difference between polished stainless and white gold for Rolex, uh, for Rolex for the most part. Um, this also has a, a vintage kind of bracelet. Um, this is probably from like 1996, I want to say. But I, again, staying in that vein of, of silver, these watches are just beautiful. I absolutely love the Daytona. Love, love, love the Daytona. Um, I'll share with you two of my uh, eBay pickups that I got. Um, this is a Breitling. Um, this watch is really, really dope. Um, the outside here, this is for uh, measuring heart rate. So this would have been like a medic watch and this is from late sixties. So vintage, it's running well. Um, I purchased this from Argentina of all places and it has some really great character to it. You'll notice here, this is a Walkman. This is a Breitling. They look very similar. Um, there's co-branded Breitling Walkman uh, watches as well, which I do love. This is um, just like a, a, basically this, they're almost this, exactly the same um, in terms of face and, and styling. This one's on like a vintage diver strap. I, I love this watch as well. And again, just kind of like the old wear and tear. This one I picked up for a steal. I think I paid like 200 bucks for um, some dude local in Boston was selling a bunch of them. And from that same guy in Boston, I grabbed these other two watches, which are obscure and not particularly valuable. This is a Mortima. Um, I love this one too, just with the uh, sun kind of staining on it, kind of like a bit of a tropical dial on it. And again, these are not expensive watches. Um, well, these two are kind of expensive, but the next couple I'm showing you are, are, are not expensive. And again, it has nothing to really do with how much they cost, just more about that, that look and feel. So this is a nice little one that I copped and then threw this little strap on. So and that is my watch and jewelry collection. Hopefully you guys enjoyed just a short video. Um, if you want detailed reviews on these, there's, there's already some on my channel for these, but uh, any of these styles you can Google. And I highly, highly recommend eBay if you're looking to pick up any of these things. eBay is just a phenomenal resource for that. So do you like signing out? Peace guys.